So I own a a publication here in um, – we're obviously trying to expand our publication into other cities. Okay. So we have a local niche, um, which reaches about 80,000 people a month. Um, is it a print publication? It is. And what's it called? Yes. It's called The List. The List. And what does it do? You go to our website, thelist.city. You go to our website, it's called thelist.city. Okay. And uh, if you go there, you can check us out there. Um, so, so far, we're in two cities. Um, we're in Missouri City. We're also in Sugarland, Texas, um, which are predominantly the top two. Are we losing him with service? So we're working on basically... Um, expanding our publications into other cities across the country. Alan, what does the uh, so, Alan, what does the list do? Well, we're a full marketing company, so we do everything. So we offer um, advertising. You know, obviously that's where our um, revenue comes from. So we do print marketing, we do digital marketing, we do social media. We also help with web marketing. So we do a little bit of everything. Okay, and so what's the question? So the biggest thing is, is we're trying to, to scale up. So I'm just trying to figure out how, how we can scale. So we started in two cities. I want to use that mold that we have. And, you know, what's the best way to attract new, new businesses, new areas, um, based on kind of what I've already created from scratch? Why, why do people find it valuable when, I'm looking at the list.city right now, when those functions are so uh, available on Facebook and Google and the attention is there. What, what have you found has been the rationale of the businesses in those two cities that have made them want to pony up money in a world where they would get a lot more eyeballs and value out of doing those things on Facebook and Google? Right. Um, you know, obviously we're, you know, we're part of both of those. Um, so the biggest thing is, is what we found uh, being, being in the publication industry is a lack of niche publications. And I think when you, when you have a niche that people like, that kind of gives them but know, what, the whole but what, but what's your But what's your niche? That it's local? Our niche is going to be more, it's, it's a community-based publication. So we do a lot of community content. We have community bloggers. We've got, you know, we've so got- So you're, uh, you're, you're replicating the old local newspaper, like the Milburn item in, you know, Milburn, New Jersey? No, not, not like a newspaper, no, no. We're, we, we, so we provide a lot of like relevant content. Obviously we're not a weekly or daily newspaper. We're not the Chronicle, um, you know, or like the Houston Chronicle here. Um, but it's more of a niche that um, local people can, can jump on. Um, that can help attract, uh, you know, local businesses, small mom and pop businesses that, you know, Alan, like a, Alan, a Alan, more affordable Alan, way. Alan, Alan, you need to help me here a little bit because the pitch is so gray. Um, I understand that you want local businesses to subsidize your business. That I've gathered, right? You go Absolutely. to you go to a local yes. town. If we win the attention of Albuquerque, New Mexico, I can get two hundred mm-hmm. to eight hundred dollars per restaurant lawyer. I get that. What the fuck yep, exactly. content are you producing? Like, what do you, what do you, how are you getting the citizens of Albuquerque to go to the site? Like, what are they consuming? What's the content? So we obviously direct them to our website. We put a nice write-up why you should join. It's free. I mean, obviously, it's kind of like uh, can you, can you, to like Hold Yelp, on, real quick. Yeah, can you help me? I, I think what I'm hearing now, now I'm, I think I understand for the first time, it feels like it's, just a yellow pages, right? Like, is it just, it's just a directory of sorts, no? It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's actually a combination of all of that. Um, so it's kind of like a Yelp, like a, like, I mean, it's, it's, you know, obviously they're, they're able to review, they're able to join. So and then it's like, like Yelp. Stuff. It is very similar, very similar so, to Yelp. Yes. So Alan, I think I know what you're doing. Tell me if you think I'm right, because if you tell me the truth that I'm right, then I can help you make more money, right? Perfect. I think, I think what you're doing is you're just doing a good job in sales. I think what you're yeah. doing is you're just willing some revenue into the business because you've created the list, makes sense, I understand, 
but it doesn't have the scale that others do. There's the theoretical niche nature of the local market and then you and whoever else are just doing a good enough job of getting 50 to $800 per small business and as long as there's just a little traffic coming to it, they can, su- they can justify that minimal investment. True? Correct. Cool. Correct. Here's yeah. what, cool. You know, we get about thirty to forty thousand impressions a month on our on our site. Fair so enough. It does pretty well. I mean, it's got, I get it's it. But that's good... thirty to forty thousand impressions a month on a website is like a bad Facebook post. You know, like like it's not a lot. But you know what's funny? I love what you're doing. Let me give you a great piece of advice. Hire interns and people fresh out of school. Pay them as little as possible, but is but good for them because they said yes. That's what they want. They want to learn sales. And, and basically find young salespeople that don't cost you the most amount of money because your business is relying on small checks and just build a sales machine. You could pick any market or you can pick a rabbi per market. You can say, who wants to be a leader in Topeka, Kansas? And then you can build out, like the, the, the actual product you're selling doesn't need to be that good based on you know the reality. And the reality is with minimal checks, a restaurant, in Albuquerque, New Mexico may justify the $200 based on six visitors. It seems like you're playing the long, 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 long tail. I think the vulnerability of the business is you'd like to sell something that actually brings value, but at the end of the day, the market is the market, and if the the SMB sees value, there's something there. Ken? The the other thing I would do is take a look at what happened with Patch. Patch was a, a local online newspapers in communities around the country. There were several hundred of them. Yeah. Tim Armstrong was a major investor. AOL bought it, right? At, at some point? At, at, when Tim Armstrong yeah. took over AOL, yeah. he bought the company, yep. which he had started. Yep. And uh, it floundered, it okay. failed. Yep. And, and I would look at why it failed. Well, I think they failed. Diff- what I like about Allen, Ken, is they failed because their ambition and their steez was ahead of the reality of their business and they had so many costs in the system. Allen can build a very nice $250,000 a year business, 800,000, even up to $800,000. But Allen, look, look man, I, I love you and I wanna bring you value. You, you know, the product you have isn't unbelievably valuable. What I like about your potential is you could be in the long, 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 long tail of sales. As long you, as you keep huh? your sales, your costs down. That's right, he's got, that's what he has to, you know, listen, for a 15 to 27 year old who can afford, or by the way, for a 90 year old, for any human being that can afford what you're willing to pay them and they wanna learn sales or they just like it, you need to figure out, I actually I actually think one of the most interesting things that are brewing, do you know that I, I'm, I'm very, I'm, this is classic me, but I have an idea of starting, you know, a, a startup like incubator in a retirement home. You know how everything is, you know, these incubators, like people with time and ideas come in all shapes and sizes and I think we miss a lot. I, Alan, I think you need to find 69-year-old Gertrude and 17-year-old Rick and, and, and find people that can sell and if the ROI and what they're selling versus what you're paying them against your product works, that's how you scale. Brother, you are only in the sales business because your product is not valuable enough. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool, awesome, thanks Alan. 